Good morning and welcome to Crafty Concepts with Erin. Today I have a fun coffee inspired layout. I have these two pictures of my mom and I enjoying a cup of coffee at our local Starbucks that I'm going to scrapbook today. So I've pulled out a few leftover papers from the World is Yours collection and I just like this cocoa kind of chocolatey color paper. I thought it'd be good for a coffee layout. And then I have this fun stamp called My Cup of Tea. So even though it's a tea theme stamp, I thought, oh, that's a perfect coffee cup. Why not? So it's a really cute stamp. There's all, there's, you can stamp the saucer separately. And then there's sentiments that would make really nice cards or fun quotes on a page. This here is the coordinating thin cut die, which you don't have to get, but it just makes things really uh, quick and easy. So let's get started with this layout. I have a sheet of white daisy cardstock, and then this is, <clears throat> excuse me, the mint cardstock that I'm going to trim down to 10 by 10, and I'm going to put it on an angle just to add some interest, and sometimes it's nice to not always have straight lines on your page. And then I want this um, espresso patterned paper to be my main piece behind my photos here. So I'm gonna trim this down. I want it to come almost across the page, but not all the way. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice this morning. So I decided I cut that a little bit too short and I don't want that much of the mint cardstock showing on the bottom of the page. So I'm going to fix that with adding a strip down at the bottom, which you'll see me do here in just a moment. And then you can see the seam, which bothers me. So I will take a handy zip strip and just uh, camouflage that and no one will ever know. So I've put a few drops of reinker into my spray pen and I wanna give that look of kind of coffee splattered on the paper. So I've diluted it with water a little bit to make it lighter. This is actually the cocoa color, which is retired, but they have espresso now, which is really similar. So what I'm doing here is I actually took the spray nozzle out and just kind of tapped it around the page to give some different size drops. So it dries quickly because there isn't, um, you know, the paper's not treated with anything, so the ink dries rather quickly there. So before I go too much further, I decided I wanted to ink the edges of this mint colored cardstock just to give it a little more dimension and just kind of um, highlight the edges there with the dark chocolate color. The little ink pad I'm using, gosh, I've had those, they had the minis a while back, which are, again, sorry, no longer available, but you can do the same thing with a large ink pad or just a, a sponge dauber works really well also. So having my Versa mat, it's really easy to line up my angles there. I love having the measuring um, grid on the side of the mat. That's very helpful. So we'll get all these main pieces tacked down into place. That way we can get onto the fun part with the embellishments. I've printed these photos in two and a half by three and I printed them with a white border already on there. So I'm going to quickly cut a couple teacups with a scrap piece of white daisy and we'll just run this through my Spellbinders machine. And I know I want two teacups on this um, layout so I'll just make a second one there. It's so quick and easy. You can fussy cut these by hand, but again, look how fast that was. Super convenient. So I kind of want to stack my teacups up on the side, so I don't need the second saucer, and they're just going to sit inside. So I uh, took my micro tip scissors and just quickly cut that bottom piece off. And now I'm going to add some more cardstock layers uh, to my photos here. 
just kind of roughly place my pictures to see. I don't know exactly how big I want it. I'm just more of a visual person. So we'll get that trimmed. And then I have this vellum and I cut with the Art Philosophy cartridge on my Cricut. I cut out this little swirl just to help show that it's a steaming cup of coffee. And now to make these um, little coffee cups or teacups pop, I'm going to add some patterned paper. So I'll start by stamping the outline. I don't want the handle, so I'm not going to ink that up. So I'm just going to stamp the outline of the cup into the corner of my patterned paper, and then I can quickly cut that out. Sorry, I'm off the bottom of the screen there a bit. But yeah, this is super easy and quick to trim. And this is just a fun way to make these cups unique. And you just put the paper right on top there. And I love it. So now I want to stamp the saucer down below before I put on my pattern paper. So I chose a... Um, chocolate or excuse me cocoa ink to do that and I'm thinking about putting some of these sentiments on the cup up there but I decide that well they don't really fit my layout so I opted not to do that I'm going to trim um, this gray pattern cardstock for this second teacup and again I've disappeared off into nowhere But now I'm back, yay. Okay, so it's you can just stamp the teacups plain um, or add the paper and just make it really um, unique and dress it up that way. I've tucked the little vellum behind the corner there and this was a ripped piece I cut, but um, nothing is wasted. I just lengthened the height of my little steamy swirl and I like the way the vellum kind of accentuates the steam because it's transparent. I'm going to place my title here which is going to read Coffee Addict. I've cut this on a very old Cricut cartridge um, called Opposites Attract. As you can see we have this big bold upright font and then I'm going to spell out the word coffee in a very swirly cursive scripty font in a different color and lay it over the top. So this um, font is really tiny or I've, I've um, cut it on my Cricut really tiny so it's a little bit difficult to use the adhesive on so I went ahead and ran that through my Xyron sticker maker and that way I just make sure that the adhesive is where I want it to be and uh, everything adheres down really nicely. So I like the way that, you know, the, the addict is kind of a little bit more discreet in the back and then coffee in the mint color kind of takes center stage there and, and draws your eye. And then you see that first and then you see the word addict in the back second. So I apologize, I typed the, or stamped the word coffee using this alphabet stamp. I didn't catch that on film. Um, and then I have this fun quote that I saw on Pinterest and I didn't have a stamp, so I went ahead and turned to my computer and just printed that out in a text box and then um, used the peach colored cardstock here. So if we pop this up on some dimensional foam, and then just kind of dress it up a little bit. It's going to look like a fun little embellishment that I could have bought. Sometimes it's fun to get creative and make your own. I had this little hexagon um, left over from the World is Yours kit and I didn't quite like the hexagon shape so I just trimmed it into a rectangle. So I will go ahead and get this kind of tacked down. It says a yawn is a silent scream for coffee. So true. 
My coffee of choice is usually an Americano, which I then doctor up with my own um, creamer. Um, this is the little coffee cup I cut from the World Is Yours Cricut, not World Is Yours, excuse me, the You Are Here Cricut cartridge. And we'll use the thin dimensional foam and just kind of raise that up on the edge there. And then we have a few stickers left over from the World Is Yours sticker sheet. And it says Fave on it, which coffee is my favorite. So just kind of auditioning areas to put that sticker and I like it over there on the left. And I thought about using this journaling block, but then there really isn't much to say. Um, so I end up just stamping the date later and omitted that. So here is the finished layout and I hope you guys are feeling inspired. And I just wanted to show you fun ways that you can turn this teacup set into a coffee themed layout. Check out my blog at craftyconceptswitherin.com to see some other projects I made with this cute stamp set. And be sure to click like and subscribe so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.